Welcome to my project bazaar.com. Yeah, now we let us discuss about the waveguide fed tunable terahertz antenna based on hybrid graphene metal structure. Yeah, let us discuss about the abstract of the product. So, graphene is an allotrope of carbon in the form of two dimensional automatic scale hexagonal lattice in which one atom from each fed tracks. So, it can also be considered as an aromatic molecule, the ultimate case of the family of flat polycyclic aromatic hydro hormones so graphene and its mass structure and uh, direct cones effect on a grid on the doping graphene has uh, many unusual properties so it is about uh, 200 times stronger than the stronger steel so it conducts heat and electric electricity uh, very efficiently and is nearly transparent also so here in this proposed work we design a terahertz that is a uh, 10 power 12 hertz antenna by using the transparent graphene metal structure to increase the frequency of the antenna so that is a uh, easily to increase the frequency of the antenna and then the transparent graphene metal structure is used to operate multi frequencies so it's operated at a multi frequency from 5 to 8 terahertz of the antenna so the transparent graphene material is a single linear material used to estimate the wider bandwidth of the process so here we using the graphene is a zero band gap semiconductor with the um, complex conductivity tuned by external and internal also so the dielectric here we using the dielectric substrate is silver that is mentioned by ag so the dielectric constant is one is the dielectric constant so finally we calculating the radiation pattern directivity lesson uh, return loss pswr bandwidth so and then also the proposed antenna are calculated by using the HFSS 13. So that is a high frequency structure simulator of the software. Yeah, now we let us discuss about the flow diagram of the process. So that is a high frequency structure simulator. So first of all, open the HFSS software. So that is a three dimensional software X, Y, and Z axis. So create a new project design. So first of all, we create a new project for the design and then substrate model in design. So here, here we are using the, um, I mean, that is a silver substrate. So that is a AG software. So using the AG software and then select patch model. Here we are using the T patch antenna for adjusting the three layer of the substrate. So to, des uh, to design the top and bottom. So top means that is the patch and the ground means that is a bottom means that is a ground. So assigning top and bottom antenna here we are using the perfect T that is a perfect electric field and then excitation. So here we are using the excitation as a wave port excitation and then to set up the analysis. So in this analysis setup here we are using the start and stop frequency. So start frequency here we are using the 5 to 8 terahertz of the antenna. So all the design is implemented by the terahertz. So terahertz means 10 power 12 assignments of frequency. To assign the frequencies or whatever it may be so it is, uh, is calculated as a uh, particular frequency of the wave to assign the vacuum boundary for the radiation to prevent from the external activities of the frame finally get the results like um, radiation pattern return loss like a 2d and 3d pattern of the antenna so here we using the so this is a side wing representing the latest of antenna here we using the top patch antenna and then uh, bottom in the ground plane and uh, in the middle layer it's, uh, it's to be act as a substrate of the process so these are the three types of antenna so these are the parametric studies so without the ground and substrate is 1000 micro m micro m means that uh, indicate as a 1 m so length of the ground and then height of the substrate t patch length and then t patch width uh, and also the dielectric constant of the silver substrate of the particular antenna so this is the hfss window of the process and then finally we design the so this is the value so actual multi frequency by using the transparent graphene material from uh, 5 terahertz to 8 terahertz of the antenna so these are the overall process of the particular process so in the designing procedure we uh, design the work done so design settings 3d model boundaries mesh operation optometrics radiation excitation and analysis setup so these are the overall running of the process so the generally patch under consists of three layers one is a substrate patch ground so substrate in the middle layer patch is in the top layer and ground is the bottom layer so the substrate is a uh, sandwich between the ground and patch so it forms a patch and non dielectric medium of the process so overall finally get the results as a uh, uh, return loss radiation pattern bswr bandwidth and then 2d and 2d uh, dimension of radiation pattern so uh, overall running procedure i mean uh, overall flow diagram of the process yeah, now we let us discuss about the running procedure for the process. So, this is the HFS antenna design window. So, here we are using the T slot patch antenna. So, this is the, like a three dimension. So, I will here we are using a two process one is a 
two dimensional board. So this is the transfer and graphite and this is the patch. So here I am using this two layers. So this is the second layer. This is the first layer. So first layer is uh, so here we are using the two layers. One is the transparent graphite layer and another one is the graphite layer. So this is the graphite. I mean this is the graphite layer and this is the transparent graphite layer of the process. So these are the two types of process. And then here we are using a uh, substrate. It's a silver substrate. So this is a silver substrate. And then our sheets. So I will perfect T field. So that is a ground and patch. So here we are using the patches. T slot patch and now the process. So this is the ground of the process and then we put here yeah, using as in a uh, coaxial feed of the probe so this is the material so here we use the great excitation of the process so the vacuum the outer conductor is a coax and then uh, in the inner conductive bin coax pin and this one is a probe so these are the three processes of a particular process and then uh, the boundaries perfect t1 is a patch perfect t2 is a it's a ground plane of the process and then radiation one is a vacuum back of the process so in the excitation you are using the bayport excitation uh, under the ground and then analysis setup here is setup we are using a 6.4 terahertz and then sweep is a not hands down 1 to 8 and then finally get the results so this is the validation checkbox so all the values design setting 3d model boundaries and excitation meso operation analysis setup optometric generation so all are is current and then uh, this is the analysis all to click this file the program is running so finally getting the results like uh, whatever it may be calculated the radiation button return loss vswr should be calculated for the process so here we are choosing this uh, results of the process uh, this is the written last graph of the plot. So here I have M1 is a minus 20 dB. So here I have seen the multi frequency of the plot. So this is a written loss and then um, VSWR. So this is the VSWR of the particular plot. So whatever it may be calculating, the VSWR is calculating. And then this is the 3D, I mean, this is the 2D radiation pattern. Here I will select this. Um, so zero is achieving the frequency. So here I have seen the results, I mean HFSS results, great ML and rectangular plot. So I am using the written loss of the graph. So and then overall graph it should be assigning. So this is the design. Whatever it may be, I will design. So these are the 2D and these are the 3D tablet subplots. So these are the overall running procedure for the process. Thank you for listening this video.